We asked ourselves what it is that makes a building Wellington. We drew on inspiration from our notorious weather, the topography and uh, Māori mythology to all influence the outcome of the building, the shape, the location, the plan arrangement and the way that it sat in that urban context. Wellington City Council, in partnership with Willis Bond, were responsible for the delivery of the project. The original brief was to combine a convention centre and a film museum. As the project developed, it turned into a single convention centre and exhibition centre. The name Tākina was gifted to the building by Taranaki Whānui and it means to summon, to connect and to bring forth. The Māori stone is uh, often used and placed in buildings to capture the spirit of the place and this particular Māori stone was sourced by Kura Moyahu, Kaumatua for Te Ati Awa. We chose to display the Māori stone very much at the forefront of the ground floor so it became an educational piece to help tell the story of Takina. The layout of Takina is very much around three principal levels with the ground floor being largely for rotating exhibitions that Te Papa run and then the upper two floors are solely for convention centre use. The exterior form is very organic in nature with a lot of flowing curves and forms. The choice of the glass actually synchronises with that really well. It's a fabric interwoven into the glass itself with a metallic coating to the outside. Each pane catches the light in a different way and that allows it to take on an organic character. So every time you walk past this building, we expect a slightly different experience, which is something that's always living, evolving and changing. I think the result of the building is one that is unique. Its sculptural form is playful and engaging. The building is alive. While only just completed, from what we hear is that this building has been adopted by Wellingtonians and that they feel that this building is theirs too.